What's up, everybody? Here we go. We got Ty today. Ty Gray. I believe he is uh, nine years old. Ty's only been with me for... This is going to be his... This right here on his right was his third lesson with me. And then um, on the left side is his evaluation video. So we can see he kind of starts a little bit more open on the left side. On the right side, he's a little bit more closed. Um, he's still a little narrow. I like for them to start a little wider, a little bit wider than the hips, but that's fine. He's gonna, they're going to go up. And boom, we can see here already. On the first one, you see that on the one on the right with the blue shirt, uh, sorry, the one on the left with the blue shirt, you see he comes up, but his hips pretty much stay where they at. Watch on the right, though. When he comes up, he lets those hips go forward a little bit more. That's going to create more of a load on the glutes in the back. So he's priming that leg in the back to uh, to put out more force or to help him put out more force. He's basically loading that that uh, that glute. And uh, what he's creating is called pelvic tilt, where his uh, the leg lift that he comes up with is a little higher than the hip behind it. All right? So he goes forward. We're going to go over a couple of things. So, boom, we got to that second line right there. You see on the, the one on the, the left, his foot is kind of open. He's starting to go a little bit more with the front, with the, the foot. On the right, you can see his hips are kind of going a little bit more. You can see that front toe kind of pointing back. That's keeping him closed a little longer. And you can see even when he gets to the third line, which is about three feet from the, the rubber, he's going to still be closed on the right side. On this uh, picture, picture to the or the video to the right, the one on the left, you can see he's kind of opening up a little bit. It's more of a falling action than a staying back. And we can see this, we can really see this by the kind of tilt that he has on the upper body. He's trying his best. You can also see that he's a lot more closed on the top half. So that's going to help create or put him in a better position when he lands. And we're going to see that. So we can see last minute he opens up and. Boom. That foot hits the ground. We can see on the one on the the left, he already started to rotate really early. So we got him to basically get a little bit. We got him to delay the top and let the bottom do what it was doing. He moved the bottom a lot more effectively. Uh, and that put him in a better position when he landed. Um, but because he kept that, that uh, front side of where the glove is at, the glove side closed a lot longer. We can see that when he lands, he's in a better position to create more force from the ground up instead of using the, the arms. The one on the left is more arms. The one on the right is going to be um, a lot more of the legs. He's using more of his torso and that separation of that torque that we created. So we're going to keep going. And we can see here on the right, right about here. Oh, let me see if I draw a sign right here. So he's going to let go of the ball. Pretty much right where that clock is at on this side. Boom. We can see it right there. All right. The one on the the right, you can see he's going to get around. He did still let it go a little early. So I would want him to get that, that uh, elbow on that shoulder around that glove a little bit better, causing his shoulders to rotate a lot more in his hips. That will also help lock that front leg a lot better. Well, we can see he does a better job at kind of stabilizing that front leg as he throws so right here on the on the right side he let go of the ball he still has the ball in his hand here so he's letting it go a little bit further in, in, in head, ahead of himself putting less stress on the shoulder um the other thing about Ty is Ty was throwing really 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 side on almost like Chris Sale and he fixed that on his own. Uh, it was to a point where he was having a little bit of discomfort in his arm. And uh, I met Ty at basically a baseball practice. And when I when I explained to him what it was going to do and how he can fix it, he went and worked on this by himself for the most part. So, yeah, he did a lot of... I've been helping him out for about the past three lessons. But this kid put the work in himself. He's been working really hard to do what he had to do, so... This is a great example of what happens if you go home and really practice, and practice, and practice, and uh, just look out for guidance. His mom has helped him out. His mother has helped him out a lot. 
and uh, he he's gonna be something to uh, to be afraid of. He's gonna be really good on the mound. He already has good velocity. He's very athletic, so I'm uh, proud of his progress so far. So we can see here what, when he finishes. He finishes with that that uh, front shoulder a little bit more ahead, and that that's gonna put him in a better position. It's gonna help decelerate the arm or slow him down. So. Ty is uh, doing his thing. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I'll see you guys later.